Hey everyone, God bless you all. My name is Miravan, and today I'll be bringing God's word your way that will not leave your lives the same again. Um, if you're new to this channel, please do well to subscribe to this channel. Hallelujah. On here, I talk about God. Hallelujah. I preach the gospel of Jesus, and also I put on videos that can help and inspire people to be able to live a Christ like life, that can help people to be able to portray God in their everyday life. Praise the Lord Jesus. So, today, I'll be talking about something very important as well that will bless somebody today. Hallelujah. So what I'll be talking about is steps you can take in order to live a Christ-like life. Steps anyone can take to be able to portray God wherever you go in your job, or wherever you go and whatever you do, praise God. Because guess what? Christianity is more than a religion. We are supposed to portray God in our everyday lives. We are supposed to, you know, let people see Jesus in us. If you say you're a Christian, it's supposed to be more than just professing it, but living a life that is an example of the believer. See what the Bible says in 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 12. It says, Let no man despise your youth. Be thou an example of the believers in word, in conversation, in charity, in spirit, in faith, and in purity. I know somebody will tell me, Oh, Mervon. What are you talking about? Can you be able to live a life like I nobody's Jesus, of course? So I cannot live, I can't do that. Like I'm not able. I understand very well where you're coming from, but let me tell you something. It is possible to live a life like Christ. Praise God. Once you spend time on the word of God, you will understand that things that you know you were addicted to, things that you could not do without you, you you now detest them and you don't want to see them anymore because the spirit of god in you now helps you to be able to live a good kind of life because god will not give us things that he knows we are not able to do praise the lord and every scripture is for our own good it helps us to be able to be better people when you give your life to christ and you decide not to go by the scriptures you decide you decide not to you know do the word of god you're just like somebody who joins a team and then you tell the coach, you know what, coach? I love being on your team, but I don't live, I don't really want to walk by your rules. I don't like your set of rules. Like I cannot do them. Can I just be on your team, but just function by my own set of rules? That's what you tell the coach. Is exactly like that's what you tell Jesus when you come to Christ and you be like, God. I love being in you actually but can I just go by my own set of rules that's what you say actually even not verbally that's what you say in your heart that's what you do but it will not help you you will not go anywhere far if you cannot live by the Word of God because when the kingdom of God is a kingdom of principles and when you come into the kingdom of God you need to live by these principles in order to get to where God has ordained for you praise the Lord Jesus it's very important to do that look at the, look at what the Bible says in Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 1 it says now we shall come to pass if you diligently obey the voice of the Lord your God to observe carefully all his commandments which I command you today that the Lord your God will set you high above all nations of the earth hallelujah when you serve God it is so like you it's undeniable proofs undeniable results will start happening in your life people will see you and know that for a truth Jesus lives inside of you but then how can you live this life that will portray God at your job in your school wherever you go how can you be able to portray God because guess what if every professing Christian could actually live a life that portrays God then many more people will give their lives to Christ because see this is the thing Many people have not given their lives to Christ because they'll be like, why would I even have to give my life to Christ when this person says Jesus, Jesus, and yet you can't see anything Jesus about her life. And this guy says Jesus, Jesus, and you can't even see anything Jesus about his life. Like he doesn't look like he hates people. He curses people out. He does all sort of stuff. Like that's actually the problem with Christianity today because so many people profess God, but they do not live a Christ-like life. Hallelujah. I mean, I don't blame people. It's because of the way a lot of, like, the society has made it seem. Like, many people don't even care. <sighs> I'm Christian, yes. But you don't live like a Christian. You know what? Oh, I don't have to. I mean, everybody makes mistakes. Everybody lies. Everybody steals. I mean, everybody, everybody fornicates. Everybody, <sighs> Excuse me, girl. You are all by yourself. If you think everybody does that, then you just you you fooling yourself because there are people who live a God kind of life. People who live lives that are worth following. People who live 
God like Christ like lives so you want to get on that page today because it's very important you fool your own self if you say you're Christian and you are not living a Christ like life so why what why I was saying all this is because I just wanted you to have an understanding of how important it is for you to be able to live a God kind of life because when you live by the scriptures you will definitely get the results thereof because we are God's handiwork and he gave these principles by which we can live and then get to where he has ordained for us because we have a glorious destiny in Christ like he says in Deuteronomy 28 that he will set you above all nations of the earth I've seen people with my own eyes that have gone to the top because they decided to live by the word of God but if you decide to you know just beat around the bush today you're in tomorrow you're out today you're in then you're fooling your own self because guess what it's better to live in, in the war completely than to be in the middle you either have to live for God completely ask God to help you or you just be in the world so now these very four steps I just came up with I mean that's not all but I just came up with this four that I just want to tell you guys today that you can follow in order to be able to live a God kind of life to live a life that people will see and desire to be in God praise God so the first step is please make up your mind to live a life that is worth living like i mean make up your mind to live an exemplary life just decide to live a life that you know will please god just make up your mind because the reason why many people are still in that pit is because they've not decided to live a life that will please god they have not decided to live a life that you know will be in accordance to the word of god just make up your mind because guess what the bible says the Bible says in um, Colossians chapter 2 verse 6 that now that you have received Christ, walk in union with him, reflecting him in what you do or say, and living a life that will pull people away from sin. Praise God. When you've made up your mind to live for God, please live for God because it's for your own God. It's for my own good. It will, make, it will just make us better people. Praise the Lord Jesus. So the first step is please make up your mind. Make up your mind to live by God's word. The Bible says, be ye not hearers of the word only, deceiving your own selves be doers of the word because when you do the word of God you you become a different person it changes you from inside out and you become an envy to many <laughs> it works hallelujah so make up your mind make up your mind so you can get the results there the Bible says in Isaiah 1 verse 19 it says that if you are willing and obedient you will eat the good of the land praise the lord since if you are willing and obedient if you decide if you're willing to live by the word of god i mean you came into this team you gave your life to christ you came into the kingdom of god and you decide to live by the principles in this kingdom then you will eat the good of the land praise the lord jesus that's why so many people are in christ but they can't really experience god because they've not made up their minds to live by the word of god so that's the first point please make up your mind to obey god's word hallelujah the second point is ask god to help you let me tell you it doesn't matter like no matter how you try to do this thing without the holy ghost you cannot not do it you will not be able to do it because the devil, the Bible says he's around like a roaring lion seeking for him to devour. I mean, you think the devil is happy if you decide and make up your mind to live for God so you can fulfill purpose and live out the life God has called you to live? Oh, oh no, he's not happy. So he will look for all strategies to bring you down. So when you decide to live for God, please ask God to help you. Oh Lord, help me. I want to live for you. I want to fulfill purpose. I want to live out the life you've called me to live. And then God will give you the grace. He will help you because he sees a sincerity in heart. He sees that you really are sincere about what you're talking about and you want to live for him. He will help you to do that. Praise the Lord. That's the second point. The first one is make up your mind. You need to make up your mind fully to live for God. The second point is ask God for help. The third, the third point is spend time with the word of God. Spend time with the word of God. Psalms 1 1 9 verse 11 David said, said said thy word have I hidden in my heart that I might not sin against thee when the word of God is in your heart like when it's it's a part of you you realize that sometimes you're going to do something and be like you don't feel like doing it anymore because guess what that word of God is reminding you that oh my God, no no not today no you can't do this and before you know it you escape the trap of the enemy so please have abundance of the word of God inside of you study the word of God let it be part of you just study 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 the word of God because if you want to be like 
you want to know you want to be a doctor you want to be a lawyer whatever you study to become an expert in this field that's the same way you need to study so you can be you know spiritually buoyant praise the lord jesus and then the third point is that spend time in the presence of god all these people will say god is in the heart uh, I don't have to go to church. God is don't fool yourself. Be cool. Don't fool yourself. Praise God. You need to spend time in the presence of God. And not only going to a church building, even in your house, give out time to pray, give out time to study the word, give out time to lift up holy hands, worship God in your in, in your spare time and in the time you create as well. Praise God. It's very important that you spend time in the presence of God. When you spend enough time in the presence of God, you will be soaked into that atmosphere, into that presence. So when you go out there, all these things that used to pull you and, you know, have take your attention, you will not even like them anymore. You will detest them because now you become more like God. The more, the Bible says, be, as you behold him in the glass, you are changed into that same image from glory to glory. Praise God. So please give out time to be in the presence of God. Make it to your church. Like, find the church that you worship in. The Bible says, forsaking not the assemblies of yourselves together as the manner of some is. That's Hebrews chapter 10, 25. Don't say that, oh, our church is not important. It is important. And also in your spare time, please pray, study the word of God. Just ask God for help, like I said in the second point. Ask God for help. Praise God. So um, I'll just leave those for today. If you follow them, I'm sure you you have a, like you, you have a change of story. Please decide. Just go to your closet. I mean, you... You live a fake life even to your own self. Like, you can deceive anybody, but you cannot deceive yourself. Like, just decide. Say, God, please, you brought me here. I want to live a life that we, 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 I don't just want to exist. I want to live life. God, help me. Help me, God. So the first point is decide. Please decide to live a God kind of life. Everybody... A lot of people, if not everybody, they admire when people live a God kind of life. But, ooh, that girl, she loves God. She's not, she doesn't do all these things. Oh, that guy, he doesn't go around flirting. He loves God. Ooh, I just like him. Everybody likes that. But then you, can you just be that example of believers as well? So that when people see you, they can give their lives to God. It's very important because if everyone could live, if every professing Christian could be a, a Christian that lives by it, then many more people will give their lives to Christ. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'm very sure somebody was blessed by this. Please comment down below if you were blessed by this. And if you have any other questions, please comment, and then we'll talk about it in my next video. Thank you guys very much, and until next time, remain ever blessed. Thank you. Bye.